I did this little dwarf playing games while rumbling incoherently into the microphone. Why? Well, just because I can, and I continue with Invisible War Blind. Now, fortunately, I have some good news. I finally figured out why the game kept crashing, and apparently it was because of uh, Nvidia Shadowplay, uh, and more in general, uh, what I've read is most of the uh, apps or programs that have some kind of an overlay uh, cause the game to crash because it's programmed in a really weird and kind of retarded way uh, in that every time it loads a level the game actually closes and then restarts completely uh, with the loading screen so we, if you have any kind of an overlay it uh, messes it up so I had to uninstall the shadow play and fortunately now maybe it'll it'll work all right so what i want to do is um, go into the basement and uh, the, the basement of the club and where is it hmm. yeah and find the uh, data of the mutant being stored in the basement of, of the club for the Omar collective of cyborgs to get a discount on their wares because it seems like it could be a um, potentially very useful thing to have available and it doesn't seem particularly ev evil like obviously it's illegal but oh well as I already once said if I only wanted to do legal things I wouldn't have gotten very far in this game uh, or potentially most of, of uh, role-playing games. Mm, so I'll just look around the place, maybe I'll find some evidence, you know, of a conspiracy or illegal business that will assuage my, my conscience uh, retroactively, as it were. Let's listen to the, to the news here. As survivors flee the remains of the city, they wonder how or why this disaster could have happened. The damage was not caused by any sort of explosive or missile, but rather by an agent that seems to have dissolved the very substance of the buildings. We still do not know who is responsible, but the totality of the destruction leads many to wonder whether this may signal the beginning of yet another collapse. Hmm. I think I already heard that. Okay, so I need to locate the basement. The basement's over here. And now I need to sort of position myself in a way to avoid the guards. So don't mind me. Because obviously if I'm seen then they'll probably raise the alarm or something. Okay, flares, cigarettes. Yeah, so I'm actually very relieved that I managed to solve the issue of the crashing because obviously it was mightily inconvenient. Um, okay, disable the camera, disable the beams. Apparently there's also a spider bot there, but I guess it would have been activated if I uh, raised the alarm. Hmm, what's that? Some kind of a barrel or a canister. Whoa, wait. Is that an alien? Because in Deus Ex 1, uh, there were actually aliens, like like uh, actual greys. Like it was never uh, specified, and it's actually mightily interesting to me if they were actual extraterrestrial beings, or if there were another um, bioengineered species. Uh, you know, just pretending, quote unquote, to be aliens, uh, maybe for publicity or uh, for you know controversy. But uh, anyway, they were encountered. Uh, near the end of the game 
at the um, at the uh, the, the, the VersaLife uh, facility with Bob Page, and I think kind of earlier as well, but but the, the, at the end they they uh, appeared more frequently, and I think that's one of them. So I guess this will contain the data. Yeah, tissue anal analysis grays. So I guess this is one of them. Uh, and apparently they were conducting uh, various tests on it to see how uh, how resilient it is to heat, radiation, and to damage, which seems kind of barbaric. Oh, okay. One that is kind of interesting that the Omar uh, already know I did it. Uh, I didn't have to go back to them and report it, which is convenient because I wouldn't want to. Um, but second, uh, also he said that there's a representative of the Omar uh, here at the club, which. Uh, it's obviously interesting to me, and I think now that I've broken into this place, I might as well search the rest of the club because I still have the mission to learn what's inside the VIP uh, section, as, as it were. But getting in there might be a little more difficult because... Hmm, is that a camera or, or just a, like a disco ball? No, I don't think it's a camera, but yeah, the position of the guards isn't really... Mm. Actually, I wonder if the Minister of, of Culture... Hi! This stairwell will take you straight to the kitchen. You'll find everything you need there. Okay, so that's actually kind of weird and disappointing that uh, maybe there actually wasn't any kind of quest uh, with the Minister of Culture and he doesn't even seem to acknowledge that uh, one, I've already been to his apartment and two, I've actually, I've actually robbed his apartment so that seems like a bit of an oversight to me uh, Got fired again, time to start drinking Hmm Okay, this seems like a potentially good area to break in Stop acting so weird. Oh, damn it. More than you can chew. Apparently, I've been spotted, which is a little bit problematic. just leads to the catwalk uh, up there. Mm. Yeah, I might end up starting a fight in here, which isn't really something I wanted to do, but... Something ain't right. Uh, hurt me? I hurt you too. Yeah. Stop well, at least... Breathing. Kill I one didn't. of us, I'ma kill one of you! Yeah, that, that isn't, isn't exactly the cleanest of operations. Uh, and at this point, it might be kind of hard for me to claim uh, any kind of moral high ground. So here's to hoping I at least find something incriminating in here. Uh, <laughs> so apparently the club owner is uh, dismayed at the fact that the strange look of the Omar is driving away customers, which 
I can really see because the Omar are kind of creepy and weird and I can understand that most ordinary people wouldn't really want anything to do with them. Mm. Anything else? Mm. There's a gun, but not particularly needed. Mm. There's also some kind of safe here. Missions, independent biomods, smoke grenades, blah blah blah. So apparently, they've been selling arms, which I'm not sure if they are uh, if they are authorized to do it. But actually, in a universe such as this, I could very well see it. You know, this kind of joint enterprise, which is both a nightclub and, a, and an arms dealer, like. On an un on a on an unrestricted open market, uh, I could really see that going. So I'm not really sure if that's. Good work. You found oh. the financial data that the Enclave Civic Manager is interested in. Evidence of tax evasion, I bet. I'm sure he would be happy to give you a citizen's bonus if you reported the information to him at the WTO terminal. Oh, so I guess they don't have the necessary. Uh, they don't have the necessary permissions, and you know what. Given that they are stealing from the government, I hereby authorize myself to steal from them. I <laughs> it may not be the, the the best rationalization, but it's everything I've got, and I'm a little concerned that if I only pick up stuff from enemies that try to kill me, it might be very difficult to finish the game. So I need to relax my moral, uh, you know, um, limitations, as it were, because otherwise... Mm, because otherwise I might encounter, um, you know, some difficulty in actually uh, completing the game. I don't really think it's... at least I don't suspect it's being optimized for this kind of hyper-moral approach in which you only take uh, stuff from people who directly try to kill you. I think it's a, more of a traditional RPG, you know, optimized for this kind of murder-hobo style, which uh, is basically pick up everything that is nailed to the floor. Uh, but I'm wondering, it seems like almost like the music is like offline or something. Hmm. Or maybe there, ju there just isn't any music in this area, I'm not quite sure. Uh, well, I've made quite a mess and I'm wondering now if... There's obviously music down there on the dance floor, but I was more talking about the ambient soundtrack. Uh, I'm wondering if all of the guards inside will be hostile to me now, or if maybe... Oh wait, that's that's one of the Omar, right? It's actually good that I found him, because I do indeed want to talk with him, so hello? Veterans, any tissue scan you recovered from the basement is already producing improvements in Omar's survivability. Glad I can help. Omar adaptations will soon encompass every climate and biohazard on Earth, and many more environments that may exist elsewhere. You have an preferred customer status, a 50% reduction in prices. Wow, okay, so that's, that's quite significant. Generous. What's the Omar's objective? Space exploration? Or was that thing in the basement? The Omar are an application of anagenetic evolution to rapid environmental change. In solving the problem of survival on a planet disrupted by wars and self-replicating hazards, we have solved other problems. The specimen you examined was a similar attempt to solve these problems. Who made it? A failed corporation named Versa Life. Oh. The Omar have learned much from the Versa Life laboratories abandoned after the collapse. Shall we conduct business? That's my only reward? A discount? Very well. In addition, you will be given one black market biomod canister. Thanks. What are you selling? 
I have a ballistic silencer, appropriate for any caliber barrel. Also, a black market biomod canister, enables non-PSO chem functionality. I also have an SMG machine gun. As a preferred customer, you may purchase items at half market price. Hmm. Okay, so actually, there are a couple of things I wanted to note here. Uh, one, it seems that, uh, that the conversation here is a confirmation of the fact that the greys were actually a bioengineered species, so they aren't real aliens, which on one, on one hand is a bit of a disappointment to me, but on the other, I can really I can understand that if if there were concrete proof that there are actual aliens, it would sort of very much broaden the universe, perhaps uh, perhaps uh, too far off the sort of uh, area of belie be believability. So, and then again, it it doesn't even have to be true. Like it's just a supposition, I guess, on the part of the Omer, like. Obviously, they are convinced that it was an attempt to bioengineer a very diverse species, but they might might not be right. It might just be a guess. Uh, so that's one thing. And the other, it very much name drop name, dro name dropped the Versa Life Co Corporation. So apparently, the Omar have been scavenging uh, the remnants of of the pre collapse uh, civilizations, uh, and among them. Apparently, they visit. They visited at least some of the of the Versa Life facilities. I'm very much interested to learn more about the Omer. Like, uh, they, they they seem very interesting to me because I'm not really sure what's their what their origin is and what their purpose is, and they do seem very advanced and uh, potentially quite dangerous. So, I'm wondering if the game will concentrate more of the on them as we go along, but um, for now I think I'll actually buy the biomod canister because the, the, the biomods in this game are basically the only thing you have that's akin to actual character progression, so uh, like it's pretty much the, the, the best incentive I can find to, to keep doing stuff. Um, so I think I'll, I'll buy it. Obviously I don't need the SMG. And the silencer is also not really useful because I'm using the bolt caster, which is naturally kind of uh, silent. So, give me the biomod canister. The Omar appreciate your business. Okay, so let's save. I should probably find a safe place before. Before uh, trying to install any mods, because I'm still potentially in danger of being attacked by the other guards, right? Not quite sure if they are aware of what I've done here. Hmm. Seems there's a multi-tool here hmm okay so let's get out of here So apparently the ones on the outside are unaware of my uh, uh, unaware of my jacks, huh? of my actions, which is really a good thing because in this way I can avoid fighting them mm, and I can just leave. Yeah, so overall it it wasn't that bad. And I didn't kill anyone, I only beat a couple of people, which, again, I understand it's not really a nice thing to do, but considering the alternative in most of the games, uh, it's actually... Oh. Wait a minute. So, so, 
so so I might have spoken prematurely about the the, the loading working correctly. I, I retested it a lot yesterday. Um, off uh, when I was not recording, I loaded it like twenty times back and forth, and it did work. So I am a little bit at a loss here. <laughs> well, see you in a moment. Okay, so let's try again. I'm more than a little confused here because it did already work uh, like considerably better and now it seems I'm stuck at the same level I already was at and I'm not, not sure what else I could do. Like I can only un uninstall Shadowplay once because once I do it it's not no longer there so <laughs> seek a higher path seek order join us for worship at the can't really uninstall something that doesn't doesn't exist and um, now let's install those bio mods hmm. so I could potentially upgrade that which would give me some kind of a way to deal with bots but I'm kind of worried that that uh, killing the bots in melee might actually, uh, you know, might actually uh, kill me because they tend to explode. So, or I can upgrade this, which enables me turning turrets on and off. That that, that definitely does seem uh, useful. So I think I'm, I'm going to do that. Level 3 would allow me to change alliances for turrets, but it's not actually something I want because uh, then uh, the, the turrets will ki would kill people and I'm decidedly against that. So I think I'm going to go for the uh, electro electrostatic discharge because this is basically stealth but only for bots, which seems kind of iffy, and this is potentially useful, but it also could be fatal for my enemies, like if a grenade blows up in their hand, it's going to kill them, and I would like to avoid that, so I think I'm going for that after all and see uh, if it's going to be useful. Now, how many credits? I have 300 credits. Now the thing is, mm, what I want to do now is to finally get to that WTO debriefing because it's one of the last goals I have to fulfill well it doesn't really look like it but uh, um, at least of the main ones um, but to do that I need to go through the metro system now the pass costs uh, 250 credits watch your step Injuries may occur. Need a pass or what? And... Take it easy. Mm, uh-huh. I don't really feel comfortable paying that because I don't have a lot of money, so I'm going to look for some kind of an alternate route because I noticed that there's a... Uh, there's a ventilation shaft here, so... I think I'm going to just jump in. just a way to sneak past the uh, the security lasers. Whoa. Wait a second. Is that? Wow, that's... Is that actually a pretty cool piece of environmental storytelling? Like, is this guy the original um, um, cashier at the metro station and did they kill him and set up their own sort of rogue operation here because uh, at the beginning when I was talking with the assistant uh, um, Alex was talking all about how price hiking is illegal and he um, like quadrupled the price uh, in a short term 
and the guy was getting all nervous and, and stuff, so I'm uh, wondering if maybe they aren't actually employees of the WTO or aren't actually officially running this this uh, metro station, but they killed the original crew, replaced them, and now are running sort of a an extortion racket. That's actually interesting and kind of cool. Uh, I mean, it's not cool that they killed him. It's cool that it's sort of implied, but not really, uh, not really described in detail. Mm. Some goodies. Hmm. Time for business. And that's just how it's gonna be. Yeah. So I think I'm. Where is he? Oh man, man, there are two of them. Of that might actually be problematic for me, especially because oh! one of them oh! is Turn it into a real fight. Oh. Uh, hurt me? Uh, got three times. Back. Sorry. Uh. Armed with a freaking shotgun. Um, okay, this. Where is the other one? Did he run? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, definitely need to heal at least a little. Kill me. That's exactly what I was worried would happen if I started to fight the bots in melee. Uh, because I just killed the bot and it exploded and it killed the guy. Okay, I need to. Uh, I need to commit ritualistic suicide now. Uh, Damn, don't get myself scripted. And it might actually be a good opportunity to test if the loading is going to work uh, or not. Okay, I must say I'm re really at a loss here because I distinctly remember it working the last time I tried it after uninstalling Shadowplay. And I even checked, and the Shadowplay is indeed uninstalled, but now it keeps crashing again and I'm starting to think if I maybe hallucinated the whole episode with it working or something. <laughs> I'm, uh, I, I think I don't have to say that uh, I'm not really enamored by the perspective of spending the next 20 hours of gameplay with a crash every other minute. Um, but I actually wanted to kill myself because I killed that other guy and I couldn't have lived with the guilt. Uh, but I actually noticed an interesting thing, like this guy is literally cold and nervous attendant, so I guess he's nervous because they killed the other guy who was the real Sorry, not much of a talk. who was the real um, cashier at the at the metro station and this guy is, is literally called Thug. Keep moving. <laughs> so so I guess at the very least I solved that little mystery. Um, Proceeding routine patrol. Now I need to be careful when I fight the bot and not to do it too close. Mm. Uh, getting ugly! Uh, uh. Not to do it too close to to the to the lying guy because then obviously he's going to die. Mm, I think there are two more of them. 
around here. And one is in the booth over here, which I don't really have a solid idea on how to deal with because there's a camera as well. Now, uh, another sort of moral quandary is if all of the original occupants of the uh, of the metro station are dead and I'm just fighting the guys that killed them, but presumably the stuff that's, li that's lying around is still, uh, you know, belongs to the, to the deceased people who originally worked here, how immoral on a scale of 1 to 10 is taking it but well they're dead and I'm kind of avenging their deaths so in a way am I not entitled what I can't believe that's the first time I picked up a medkit something must be wrong here mm -hmm. <laughs> obviously I was joking uh, entitled is probably not the word not the best word to use in this situation, but what I was trying to say is that's probably not the worst thing I've done and not the worst thing I will do in the end. Oh, a stun prod, that's actually potentially very useful for my playstyle, but first let's hack this because pres presumably this will one, disable the camera and two, disable the security beams, which is also two things I definitely wanted to do. Now, what, what would I drop? I guess I'll drop the energy blade, mm, or rather the pistol maybe. The energy blade at the very least could be useful against the bots, and the pistol not so much, and I'm not using it against humans. Mm. Let's change this with this, and this with this. Okay, now I still need to eliminate the, the other guys because presumably they're, they're going to be hostile. There's at least one more uh, around the corner, which I'm a little worried about the guards getting involved because hmm. okay, come on. Maybe something's up. Gonna put a stop to. Here we go. that difficult for this guy to navigate an open door. I don't really f want to fight him in the hallway because, the, as I said, I'm a little worried about how the rest of the quote-unquote quote unquote, legitimate guards uh, are going to react to this whole situation. Oh, oh God, I'm hit! Ugh. So unconscious, unconscious, unconscious. Okay. And I can proceed into the metro. So this is the hour of truth. 
as it were. Okay, so at the very least it worked this time. But I'm rapidly running out of ideas, to be honest. Uh, That's, that's the pilot. Hey, what's the idea? Ah, Alex D. Nice work in the inclinator there. The WTO appreciates your work to keep the commerce routes open. And Chief Morgan has had a lot to say about you. I haven't had the chance to talk to her yet. Then be sure you talk to Chief Morgan as soon as you can. She's in Europe right now, but she'll address you from the holocom in her office. Go up the stairs, hang a right, and look for the management wing on your left. Okay. Let's exhaust the conversation options with this guy first. The WTO could really use an agent like you, and we could offer you a kind of mobility no one else can. What do you mean? As you know, after the collapse, it was the WTO that started putting the pieces together, creating safe, clean, profitable enclaves, and opening up and regulating trade between them. With this web of structures in place globally, we can offer an agent many opportunities in many locations. So they're um, just trying to coax me uh, onto the side. The WTO does some admirable work, but couldn't it lead to the same kind of over-centralization that made the world so vulnerable to the collapse in the first place? Far from it. We're encouraging relations between the enclaves, not complete mergers. We want to keep competition dynamic and individuality vibrant. They're all good intentions. You could be a part of it. Your fellow student from Tarsus, Clara Sparks, has already accepted a position here. Think about it. Interesting. Although at the moment it just uh, sounds like standard corporate um, slogans and stuff, not much uh, concrete information. We're trying to create a new piece where everyone has access to goods that they need and has a mutual interest in keeping commerce flowing. We want to give people more choices and more opportunities to live better lives. Surely you want to aid us with such an endeavor. We can bring the world out of the post-collapse dark age. Yeah, I'm still considering my options, as it were. I cannot believe these delays today! WTO flights are usually on schedule, but not today. What a strange day. All this commotion at the terminal. Mm. What a day. Another thrill-packed afternoon, huh? I heard there was trouble at Tarsus today. All WTO personnel are required to adhere to the air terminal security policies. Please refer to section 407.23 of your field manual. Okay, I'm not, not really that interesting. Um, I need hey, to talk what's where you're going? to this Morgan person. And also, there was this... What was he called? Manager of Civic Duties, I think? All WTO um, who uh, wanted to talk to me about what I found uh, at the club, the potential evidence for uh, tax evasion. What about the situation in the Inclinator? Under control. The maintenance crew got right on it. Please accept the sincere apologies of standard security. Our people should have screened out the terrorists at the lower Seattle entrance. I'm not blaming you personally. I'm the one who has to face the music, especially given the Chicago situation. I have to admit, there's been some talk here of replacing SSC security guards uh. with WTO military. I expect there will be some fallout. Just wanted to let you know that we have the situation in hand. Okay, so that's interesting because that actually answers uh, one of my earlier questions about what exactly the SSC is. And now, what I gathered from this um, conversation is that the SSC is actually a corporate, uh, private security branch, so they're basically mercenaries, uh, but, but uh, it's like a private police force. Uh, so, so that explains why they were working for the uh, alleged crime boss down in the uh, lower Seattle, because if, if they are a corporate entity, then they just work for whoever pays. Uh, I assume this is the, yeah, the civic manager. I took a peek at the club's records. Yeah? What's that scumbag up to? 
Give me something I can get a warrant with, and it means a citizen's bonus to you. Here's the data I uncovered. Looks like the owner has some undeclared sources of income. I knew it! That man's made a fool out of me for the last time. By tomorrow, he'll be eating rats out of a Queequeg's dumpster. Mark my word! Here's your reward. I have some subpoenas to write. Wow, okay, that's... that was a... quite a substantial reward. That's one thing about the WTO. Justice is swift. I've got work to do. Hmm. I'm kinda of tempted to... sneak around his office. But you know what, before I involved I my, involve myself in anything particularly dangerous, I think I should just... Uh, Continue exploring the area. Oh. Hmm. So apparently, uh, JC and Paul are like public figures of legend. Interesting. Chief Morgan, you wanted to see me? I want to hear what you know about the terrorist attack that led to your escape from Charles's Academy. The Order wanted to stop the experiment. That's about all I know. We were watching that facility ourselves. Ever heard of an organization codenamed Apostle Call? Hi, Augur Chen briefed me. This is an intellectual property matter. It doesn't concern the Order. What's the WTO's stake in Apostle Core? Apostle Core made your biomods. I'm not blaming you. But the technology diverges wildly from piezochem biomods, the only ones approved for sale. You're investigating this Apostle Core for patent infringement? Market disruption. The genius of the Apostle Core product is that it restructures any host DNA to tolerate biomodification, whereas the standard infusions work for only 1 in 20 patients. Apostle Core could go commercial and devastate biomod prices. In other words, you want modified people to hold their value like real estate. <laughs> you put it that way. We don't want another collapse. What you can do for us is follow up on your discovery at the Minister of Culture's penthouse. Check out the Mako lab north of town. We know they've been doing illegal weapons research, and that your former trainer, Dr. Nassif, has contacts there. You'll need to hire a pilot and leave at once. You don't have any extra pilots? The Chicago disaster is occupying every available craft. You shouldn't have any trouble finding a pilot at the Greasel Pit Bar in Lower Seattle. I don't care who flies you in, just get there. Mako is developing a new firearm called the Magrail. In addition to finding the thief, the WTO needs an agent who can get us the Magrail schematic. I hope that will be you, Alex. Guess I better check out the Greasel Pit. The WTO is fighting an invisible war against several formidable enemies. Give us your loyalty, Alex. We need it. Okay, let's read the second book. It's just some flavor text about how the weapon lock is something that's universally employed, apparently. Although, now that I think about it, it's really weird that they had the, the weapon lock in this rundown bar in the downtown Seattle. I mean, not downtown, but um, what's the word? Uh, lower Seattle. And the club at Upper Seattle didn't have it, and I just murdered, well not murdered, I actually beat them with a, a baton, so I guess it wouldn't hinder me. If anything, it would hinder them because they actually shot me with life ammunition. But what I'm trying to say is, it's still weird uh, that they didn't have this kind of lock in this kind of a sophisticated place. Um, now, another thing I'm wondering about is, uh, she said that I need a pilot. now. They actually have a pilot in custody, so if they really want me to help them, I'm not sure why wouldn't he, why wouldn't they release her? Like even under a under a um, condition that she has to help me, uh, like it would uh, align me more with their goals if they actually shown me some goodwill by providing me with resources. So that's kind of weird, uh, but it also leaves me with kind of a dilemma because. Uh, first of all, let's let's go finish exploring this this part. Something didn't add up quite right on last night's shipment. 
Yeah, it seemed like the paperwork was kind of odd on that one. They shuffled back to the Flight Bay 24 storage room so quickly. They said it was for someone who wanted his shipment and privacy protected. Ha! I never trust those late-night deliveries. George wasn't even around to sign for it. The more you talk about it, the more I think we should look into it. Someone's probably trying to get around WTO import regulations again. Welcome to the WTO air terminal. Hmm. Passengers and patrons should be prepared for delays. At least one trainee besides me reported to the authorities. Have you seen Leah? Oh, okay. Yeah, That's he's her. laying low like Dr. Nassif requested. Billy seems to be mixed up with the Order Church. They can do what they want, I guess. I can't believe that Tarsus is a front after all those years of training. What's going on back there? A suspicious helicopter was circling the city. Fortunately, both the pilot and the aircraft are now in WTO custody. Order reconnaissance? The pilot will be interrogated. I shouldn't tell you more than that. So you're on the WTO payroll now, huh? I'm just glad I didn't have a reaction to whatever the Tarsus people were shooting into our veins. And now I've got a security assignment. That's all I ever wanted from that place. Hmm. Can I get in there? Hmm. This will lead me into the hangar. So I guess the answer is no, because... I don't think there's a second set of door here. Yeah. The vehicle ramp is for loading and unloading only. Yeah, so what I was talking about is that I have a bit of a dilemma here because I do need to hire a pilot uh, either way, but I have two possibilities. Either I can get Steel Black's jet from Sophia Sack, but that would require beating or potentially even killing her, plus uh, Seal Black is actually, um, he requires me to pay 500 credits per each, per each um, ride with his uh, jet, which is quite expensive. Now, on the other hand, um, on the other hand, On the other hand, uh, the Ava Johnson uh, is being held here at the WTO and she said that if I free her, uh, she's going to give me a ride for free, which is definitely tempting, uh, but obviously that would require crossing the WTO in quite a major way. And the, the, the annoying thing is, I'm not even sure what, he, what she's accused of, uh, apart from violating um, like the uh, the flying what's the word the, the zone like she didn't have she didn't have the proper permission to to fly in the area but I'm not sure if she's done anything wrong apart from that like if she killed somebody or carried illegal weaponry or viruses or something or if or if it's just a basically a flying misdemeanor of sorts uh, so. And I just remembered that I forgot to talk about the uh, VIP area with the uh, recreational unit at the club, which is kind of annoying because that would require me to go back into the city. And I also need to hack the zoning database of the civic manager to approve um, the, the coffee um, guy petition for starting a store, which is actually something I can do probably with rel with rel relative ease mm. and to be honest it doesn't even like again it's obviously illegal from a strictly technical point of view but if anything uh, that just seems like a you know giving the guy a hand a chance on the on the free market as it were so I think I'm going to do that uh, Okay, you know what, I can... Disable... Oh man, don't tell me I have to travel all the way down to Lower Seattle 
just to get the reward from the guy. That's a little bit... <laughs> ah, damn it. Well, I guess... I guess I'm going to do that. Uh, it's 300 credit credits, so quite a lot. I'll see the inventory of the other Omar trader down there. And while I'm there, I guess I can... Uh, free um, Sid Black's jet. Maybe? I'm still not sure if I'm... Like, if beating slash killing... Uh, what's her name? Uh, Sophia Zak is a good idea, because I don't really have much information on her. But... And I still need to collect the reward um, from the... From the... Um, from NG. So... That's quite a lot of running around. Especially if the game is going to keep crashing. But... But I think I have to do it, because... I might need the credits in the future, especially with me not taking everything that's lying around, but only some portion of it. Uh, and maybe I'll buy something interesting uh, off the other Omar trader in the uh, lower Seattle. But for now, I've got work to do. Yeah, you didn't see anything. Uh, for now, I think that's. Actually, more than enough um, for this episode, so I'm going to save and see you in the next one. Bye.